Cliff Simon. How are you doing today? Peter got him last. Sorry. I, I don't know where he is. I, I don't know. I killed him. <sighs> what? No. Can you all see the, the back? Yeah. Cool. Who wasn't here the other? Well, who hasn't been to any of the panels before? You all been, you've saw the others? Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. So what are we going to talk about today? <laughs> are you having fun? Yeah. Peter, Peter Williams, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> no jokes. Two guys, one mic. <laughs> At least there'll be no sword fighting. <laughs> Thanks for waiting. I'm sorry I'm late. I wasn't trying to be rude. My uh, iPhone cable broke. Oh, no. Don't buy the cheap ones. <laughs> Learn my lesson. Don't buy an iPhone. <laughs> Don't buy an iPhone. Use this Android. Yeah. 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 <laughs> One Nokia in the back. You're wondering what this bulge in my mouth is. It's a, it's a big mint. <laughs> so, so hold, hold off on the photography. <laughs> I thought it had been found long ago. It's like clocking field. <laughs> well, you know what I learned since I've been here? That the islands of New Zealand were actually fished up from the bottom of the ocean by a big, uh, big, with a big fish hook, a big Maui hook. Yeah, well, that's something I learned. And uh, no, it's, it's a lovely place. I mean, you couldn't have fun here. I mean, just looking around. It's also, it, it's very different, you know. You have no idea, unless you've had OE. <laughs> Somebody tell him. Tell me, I have no idea what that means. Oh. <laughs> it sounded like a disease. <laughs> Sorry, I've got OE. <laughs> New Zealand's been great. Um, geez, we went to an amazing place for dinner last night. Uh, tapas restaurant down the road. It was phenomenal. And uh, yeah, Armageddon bought us dinner, man. It was like, just order. <laughs> that was really nice, really nice. Uh, what's that? Mayota. It's in that alleyway, just at the bottom of Victoria. Me. That's it. Missy. 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 Yeah, very good place. Very good. Um, but there was a lot of us. I mean, it was fully you know, packed out, so it took hours for anything to arrive. But it was really good. The yeah, Waiter's Nightmare. I hope they got some good tips. We gave them a good tip. Um, I went this morning on the, the Sam Simon. Yeah, the Sea, she sea Shepherd's Sam Simon boats docked there. Uh, awesome. I've been waiting for years to get onto the boats. and. Uh, I've been also asking them for years to go on a campaign with them because I think that'll just be an amazing experience. So I'm going to really try for two, uh, end of 2015 to go on there. And uh, yeah, the crew were great and what a boat, man. It's kind of like, it's really geared up for, <laughs> for war. <laughs> it feels like a warship when you go on there. And like everyone, the crew and all, they real, uh, I mean, they're really dedicated to what they do and, you know, they believe in what they do. And um, pretty amazing just guys from all over there was Italy New Zealand Australians um, I know there's been a few South Africans on there before uh, the captain was still whether he was sleeping or passed out when I went down this morning with David I don't know but yeah he was asleep so I didn't get to meet him but right, it was a great experience and uh, they brought the boat over yeah because they know the show and Richard was uh, they did an evening there the other night and and you know they rely totally on charity so it's uh, all all marketing and publicity for them so it's great yeah New Zealand's been great to be back. Yeah, man. Uh, 
Oh, besides us, who's your favorite system lord? Yeah. I would say Apophis, yeah, for me. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> there was a guy named B Balls or <laughs> Big Biggles or something like that. He was, he came at the end. Yeah, he was kind of cool. But apart from present company and the four of us who are here, I kind of like Sokar. It was a shame I had to do away with him. <laughs> but I thought Sokar was pretty scary. You know, there are a few others who just don't make the rounds with us. But, you know, if uh, you had four of them here, that's a first. But can you imagine if we had maybe eight? Mm. How many of them were there? How many uh, gold system lords were there? Or is it just us? Thirty. Oh, we don't count that. There are dozens of system lords and thousands of gold. Okay, there we go. <laughs> well, we just deal with the system lords. Yeah. But of course, we you, you've had the hierarchy here. <laughs> this week. Yeah. Good question, though. But normally, we get the other question. Outside of the bad guys, which one of the good guys would you rather play? I think you answered O'Neill before. Yeah, I said O'Neill. <laughs> <laughs> I think because O'Neill just walks on and does his own thing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, even if he actually looks at his lines, it's kind of an accomplishment. <laughs> 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 kind of makes up things as he goes along and you just got to cut them loose. <laughs> Where do I get a job like uh, that? Yeah, no, that's yeah. why I like it. You know, Richard, Robert De Niro has his lines, uh, radio series, for the Because you get to a certain stage in acting where you're, I'm not going to write the script. <laughs> so he has an assistant sitting over there, and that's why he's so good, because he always looks like he's taking these great pauses. He's like, he's like, he's like looking and he's doing his facial stuff, you know? But he's listening to his guy telling him his next line. <laughs> The line to him is an actor. Maybe he feeds him with bees. Who knows? Yeah. So does he have? Has he ever liked so much that that means then you kind of had to sort of improvise yourself into the process? Yeah. I mean, just so you guys at the back in here, probably. Um, he improvises. They have toned him down in what he improvises because otherwise it kind of changes storylines. But yeah, you've got to be you've got to be very on your toes with Richard because. If you're doing a scene with him and he changes the line, like each, whatever character is saying kind of leads into what the next character is saying and all that kind of, that's how there's a flow to it. But if he changes the line, and he did it to me once, where he changed the line so what I had to say to him made absolutely no sense. It wasn't even like I was asking, uh, answering him or, or talking to him. And I was like, I'm sorry guys, I, I said there's no reply. I have no reply to that, you know? And then he had to go back to what he was saying. Um, but yeah, you got to stay on his toes because sometimes he'll drop, he, he might even drop a sentence if it makes sense and you got to be ready to like come in. But I kind of like that because it keeps you on your toes and it keeps you thinking. And then the camera's on you and it's like, what did you just say? And then you come back with the answer, so it's kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys miss being and playing simple? Oh yeah, yeah. It was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. He says we're still doing it. <laughs> That's what's cool about sci-fi is because it's so different. You know, it's not a real character. Like, I mean, like NCIS or whatever. You're just playing a villain or a bad guy. It's just a criminal. They're kind of real characters, if you know what I mean. Where sci-fi is this bigger-than-life character, so you can kind of just go over the top and do what you want to do. Yeah, so it's a lot of fun. Mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not with it. I was born in 1962, sorry. Um, on, on Sue Ann and Jackie? Oof. Well, I apologize for saying you were older than me that. <laughs> <laughs> no, you 
said you said you're definitely one of the oldest guys at the table. That's what you said. <laughs> You were the oldest and I was the second oldest. <laughs> you, you Jamaicans, you, you, you age very well. <laughs> it's island life. Island life. Um, so what was the goss? Amanda Tapping was a... Uh, was the queen of uh, commercials before she got this gig. Uh, if that counts as goss, so be it. <laughs> Terrell Rothery once danced with Tom Jones. There's some cool he danced with. That, that's not exactly, you know, prurient or sleazy, but she was very, very young. Oh, here's a goss that you may or may not know already. But Vaitiari Bandera, who played Share in Pilot, was one of Julio Iglesias' conquests. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Would you care to elaborate? Did you ask uh, Sue Ann? Is that yeah. an insane question? Yeah. Who did they rip apart? The punk. The punk. The punk. The Say men or dogs, what are women? <laughs> it's a simple statement. So answer it, ladies. If men or dogs, what are women? <laughs> well, I'm not going to say anything. Eh? Be on Twitter in a minute. Yes. <laughs> wow, I've heard so many. It's like um, the barlisms. They call them. Um, geez, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> There's so many. Most of them are rude, of course. Oh, well, they're all rude. <laughs> Ball is just a rude word. Yeah. I think I'm just remembering one of the best ones that stands out in my memory, which is um, you know that um, Bill signs his computer as a real button, and he goes on about that line. Um, Many years I did, yeah. Um, but I, I went into the military when I left England, and that knocked the crap out of me. <laughs> uh, and I, after that, no, I, then I didn't, because that was time to get on with my life. You know, I was training six, seven hours a day, every day. Just it was crazy, um, and I didn't have a life at all. I only started dating girls when I was like 19. Yeah, it was crazy. That's not so like, unusual. You've got two sister who are here with similar rec track records. Yeah, you know, sport just takes up your life, it becomes your life. And, uh, I had enough, I needed to get on. But I did regret it for a long time. What I actually regretted more was I had two scholarships to the United States. Uh, one to Southern Methodist University in Texas, another one in Houston. Um, and Southern Methodists have got the best swimming team in the United States called the Mustangs, and uh, that's the team I wanted to join. And uh, I regretted not getting out um, of South Africa early enough to go and study, to go to university. Uh, I think that just would have been great. But I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing now. You know, I probably would have ended up being a swimming coach or something like that, you know. Um, so no, I have no, definitely now I have no regrets at all. Um, it was just part of my growing up and I just moved on. Yeah. Great question, thank you. Um, you know, I didn't, for me, I didn't really work with him too much, but he was cool, you know, Ben was nice, he was a quiet guy. 
he definitely wasn't there to fill Richard's shoes at all. You know, he was his own character and his own person. Um, but he was good. He was very quiet. And I like that on set. You know, he was, he's always there. He's always doing his job. He's professional. He knows his lines. <laughs> <laughs> I did hate him, of course, when he shot me. <laughs> Bam. Uh, but that was kind of fun. No, Ben was a cool guy. I never really got to know him that well, though. You know, I only did a few episodes with him and then the movie. But we kind of shot... That movie was, as you know, all over the place. Um, so a lot of the time, I, I think the only scene we really were in together was when he shot me. And then when they were all just standing on the side when I got the symbiote got taken out. So I never really interacted with him much, no. But a nice guy. Yes. So what did the girls, what did Jackie and uh, Sue Ann say about us? <laughs> <laughs> just so we know what's going on. You said, no, you know, you said...